What's up guys, this is OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 SoftModder. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Aviate, an intelligent home screen replacement for your normal TouchWiz um, home screen. So, this is the, the regular standard GS3 home screen where you can scroll through pages and you can drag and drop your apps wherever you can create folders. As you can see up there at the top by just dragging it or creating it obviously. Um, and you know a lot of people like this. You can customize it as you can see with my um, live wallpaper in the background. A bunch of things that you can do that you can't do on an iPhone or on a Windows phone which is what makes Android phones so cool. But if you do like to get organized and you just want something clean yet customizable then Aviate is actually really cool. So right now it's an invite only closed beta um, but if you do want to try and apply you can by going to the Google Play Store link and um, giving them your email address and then they'll put you on the waiting list. Um, there's more information about that in the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 soft monitor, so you can check that out. But once you do do that, they'll give you a code. You enter in that code and then you have access to the app. So here it is right here. And I'm going, see this is where you would enter in your code. I already have a code. So I don't need to enter it in. I say, okay, got it. It's going to ask me um, what action to use. I'm going to click Aviate. You can select Always, and you can always change this in the Application Manager. So don't worry about that because you can change it back to TouchWiz, or you can just uninstall it if you don't like it, and it'll go back to your default. Hit Always, as it says right there. Hit OK. And this is actually what it does. So this is the home page. You can scroll over. And this is collections where it actually groups your apps based on what the app is. So you can see social, you can see Instagram. If I had Twitter, Twitter would be in there, Google Plus, um, music, you always have YouTube, Google Music, etc. Um, so it also organizes your apps. If you want to add different sections, as you can see, there's a bar and a grocery shopping per se. You can just click on this settings menu and then you'd select from this list. You can't create your own. So, um, right now, but there's a pretty extensive list. You just click on that, and the eyeball will show up, meaning that that section has been added to your collections. Um, you can go back. If you hit here, you can get to the app settings. I mean, sorry, not there. You go back here, and you slide this over to the right. You'll access the spaces section. And this section is um, basically adaptive so you can have a work setting in here it'll automatically change so if you have your email your email will be linked you can send an email right there if you have events your events will be there these are the suggested applications so you have calendar email folders calculator for work so we can slide back going somewhere another section another space as they call it and you can see I can get my live traffic traffic from Google Maps my home, as in if I set the destination, I can tap on that, it'll go to my maps, send me home, same thing with the office, and then obviously related apps, you have Google Maps, and then you have um, Yellow Pages, and you can add your own, you simply click on that, it'll suggest some, which is also cool, TripAdvisor, you can slide through, or you can search and add, obviously yourself, from the Google Play Store, and then you just drag it right here, um, and then there's the settings, um, so you can change it from dark to light. They only have two two themes. But here's the light. I like the dark one, personally. So I'll click on that. Also, in the settings, you can add a little quick access. So here's my settings, my actual settings. And then um, Google Play. Whoops, didn't mean to actually click on that. And then you can obviously add more by just clicking on that Add button. Um, here's the home page. And you can change this image, you just hold it, you click change, or you can remove it and add your own. You can add a widget, so if you want the alarm right there, boom, it comes up, you tap, and now it's on your, on your home page. I actually don't want it there, so I'm going to remove it. To remove it, you just tap and hold, and then you click remove. Um, here are the favorites, your favorite applications, so 
I mean, these are you, they automatically calls the most commonly accessed applications that you do. So I didn't set this up. It actually just knows what I use the most and it just automatically adds it there. You can, however, change this again, tapping and holding, and then you're going to drag it up to the top and hit remove from favorites. And then if you want to add something to the favorites, you can simply drag from here and then you can drag it to your favorites. But as you saw right there, it says no more room. You're limited to these 10. So you're going to have to replace one of the other ones. So let's put this back. This actually should be in games. And you can see how easy it is to move stuff around. Um, it's just really, really nice and organized and nice and neat. And it just makes, I think, it makes um, the home screen and just your pages look a lot better. And then on the, on the last page, you can just have your list of apps from A to Z. So... If you can't find it in the collections or you don't like the collection, you can obviously always still search from A to Z and find the app that you're looking for. So, and then that's, that's really the gist of it. You can see that the collection spaces and then the, the list of apps A to Z is um, kind of their main um, function. And as I said, these things will adjust based on where you are if you set a location and what you're doing. And also, sorry, if you want to access the weather, you can just pull down from the home page and it'll show you the weather. And then you can set your alarm and your do not disturb right there. So I'll click to access and nearby, it'll actually just show you things that are nearby if you want to go. So as you can see, I'm currently in Brentwood. It lists a whole bunch of things from food to gyms to office spaces, etc. Just it doesn't really matter. You can just click on it and it'll load it up and then you can go to either the maps from here or you can check in you can do a whole bunch of things so this is really AV8 um, you can invite people right here you just in enter in their email address click invite if you like this app and you want to share it with them you can also share it on your um, your Google Plus page or other um, social media so that's really it. Um, make sure to check it out. I think it's actually really good. It's still currently in beta, but it's super smooth. You won't notice any sort of glitches or any um, negative feedback, I guess you would say. Um, so it's called Aviate. Once again, you can check out all the information at aviate.com or check out the full tutorial for a ton more information, a whole bunch of screenshots and a, and a, a little more thorough review. So again, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.